Brown, and you are now watching the Nino channel. We need just um, just a little bit more energy, Nina. Okay. I'm Nina, Bo Nina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. <laughs> to see how you can turn into him, then you better stay prepared. I'm here. <laughs> I am what you want. I am what you need. YouTube's Drag Race, choose her. Hey guys, I'm laying in the bed doing this voiceover child. That was just a picture that somebody did of me named the K. Oh, I forgot their name. Leomi? No, Leoski. Anyway, um, yes, we are turning to turning to him from Powerpuff. And I already have the prosthetics. Can't remember where I ordered them from. I hate the nose part because the nose, like, it's hard to blend the edges on that nose. It's a cheaper prosthetic. But anyway, and I put on the bald cap because we're painting the hair on. And as always, I'm using some Meron Paradise paint and just using a sponge and now i am drawing the outline of his widow's peak and his hair so yeah And P.S. This is another late tutorial. I did this, was it two years ago? So yeah, I've done recent, a recent him look recently. Um, it was last Halloween. That was really good as well. But anyway, just coloring in now that I know I want the hair wrap. I'm coloring the rest of the forehead. That's also a part of the ball cap, but it's all about making it, making a delusion become a illusion. I swear I could be right now watching Pornhub, but here I am doing a damn tutorial for these ungrateful. Oh, I'm recording. Um, yeah. So anyway, using some black cream and uh, God, that was awkward. And just doing my eyebrows, giving the evil slant. It's a very villain brow. You can't see this part because like the way I have my camera, but I was just painting the beard part on the chin. And now we are contouring the nose with like a darker burgundy cream that I have. And just to give it, you know, more definition and just gonna blend it out with a sponge. And using that same cream and just starting to do more contouring, like on the chin, the cheek area, the jaw, the forehead, you know, the same typical places. And it's definitely important to contour within that area that, you know, the grin line is like by the nose and the mouth to give it that kind of evil smirk. And I'm going into the ear as well, just to give it a more realistic take so it's not so flat. Now using some clown white, I think it's clown white, or just some white cream to start doing the highlights now that we have the contours in place. So just as you know, the highlighting down the nose, then we'll be highlighting on the forehead, the cheek, on the eye, and underneath the eyebrows to shape them more.
And then once you have all that blended away, then you want to set it with some powder. And I'm just using a translucent, I believe it's Ben Nye powder with the fluffy brush to lock things in place. Just going back to the hair, because now that I know I wanted to bring it down lower with that baby curl in the front, because you know he got a nasty old Clark Kent Superman curl. Can't tell him nothing. And of course, just filling in the negative spaces that we left alone with some black paint now with a brush or a sponge, whatever you choose to use. Not sure which color this is, but it's like a dark burgundy um, blush from MAC. And it works perfectly with this red skin tone. So just kind of going back and like, you know, going over the cream with the powders and just making everything buffed out and blended. Make sure to buff and also blend within those wrinkles to give it more definition. Now I'm taking some black eyeshadow and kind of just doing the same, making things a little more intense around the eye area so it has that evil glare. And you know, I like to put inner white in my inner corners of my eyes, especially like just to make the eyes look more bigger or make them look more slanted, you know, just give them a different shape and then outlining it with some black. Now we are starting the lip area, which is kind of hard to see because I had to kind of put the camera a certain angle, but just using the black and then I will also paint on a smile that evil smirk he has um, and that grin. So you probably won't see all that, but just know I did it in spirit. Sorry, that was a quick little moment. <laughs> and yeah, it's back to buffing out and blending out the lines so they're not so harsh. And putting on my lash. Lash. You know, you know, you know, he's like a queen. You give him a good lash. What am I doing here? Oh, oh, just highlighting above the lip where we created some more paint to make it just all flow together as a unison. Mm -hmm. That sounds smart when I think about it. And just, like I said, just keep doing the mouth. Get it to the shape you want. And just was buffing those areas out with the grin lines and we are done guys.
And there you have it, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching this hem tutorial. People have been begging me to do this. I was like, no, I don't want to do it because I don't really watch the Powerpuff Girls. But I'm happy with the results. And I love that he's like an androgynous, you know, drag queen, drag king, whatever he is. I love it. And um, yeah, so I will catch you guys at the next look. Until then, don't eat lobsters awkward silence oh and stay beat stay beautiful and stay blessed and don't forget to dislike and unsubscribe